Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my 100% guide for Vanaheim from God of War Ragnarok. In this one we are doing the plains which is part of the crater. If you have not done the jungle yet which is south of the plains, you need to do that first before you can get 100% in the plains. So check my description for my entire playlist and look for the, uh, the jungle one and do that and then probably do sinkholes and then do this one. Uh, the need to do them in some sort of order. Definitely need to do jungle first because you cannot get everything in this one. So I'm going to actually start, speaking of which, down in the jungle and we're just going to go backtracking a little bit first. So go and do the jungle first and then we'll uh, and then come back and do the planes if you've not already done that. I'm doing everything post story as well because there's some tough boss fights and things like that in these sort of areas so it's definitely better to do this after the story. Um, than try and struggle through it, to be honest, unless you want to struggle through it. So yes, first we're going to jump across. So you need to have the water on, basically. You need to. That's why you uh, can't get 100%, is you need to have the water available. So we're going to go through here, and we're going to enter something. It's kind of like a wishing well. Um, I guess that's what it is. I've not actually thought about that. <laughs> uh, you throw things in, and it, you get stuff out. But what's actually there is uh, one of the stags, and one of the law pieces. There is a lot to do in this video. You can see it's the longest one I've done so far in this game and there is a lot to do and I do a lot of running around. Now as usual I'm doing this without any jumps or anything like that. 100% uh, just run through it as we go and get everything done. I will be leaving all the fights in this one because most of them are pertinent to part of 100% especially a lot of boss fights and mini boss fights and things like that. So climb through here, and then you'll enter this area. There's two ways to get into this place. You can actually get in through the uh, the sinkholes as well, but it's just easier and quicker to get in this way. Yes, yeah, the wishing well. You know, I didn't even notice that title come up before. <laughs> Never noticed that. Anyway, um, the seasonal stag is here. If you have not done a seasonal stag yet, then you will need to speak. Well, interact with it. Then go and speak to Ratatoska, the squirrel, back at Sindri's place and then come back. He'll give you some feed and then you're able to actually deal with the stags. There's four of them. There's two in this in the plains. There's one each in the jungle and the sinkholes. So this is where we are now. We're kind of in the mountain in the middle of all three areas. And uh, yeah, there's just the two things here. But I will show you how the, the well works as well. As well. There you go. There's quite a bit to find down here as well. As well. <laughs> Saying well a lot. I'm noticing it now. It's going to annoy me. So grab those two hack silver things and then we're going to go around and break. So you may have been breaking these wondering what the hell you do with them. These orange crystals. There's three big ones around here so I'm just going to break these up. I should have actually done the, the one I'm going to do last first because there is a little bit of uh, there's a little turtle there. <laughs> a little tortoise. And um, yeah, smash this one and this is where you need to throw the crystals in. So you accidentally accidentally throw one in and it kind of triggers the whole sequence so when you get all these these crystalline fragments and all that throw them in into here and uh, you get stuff back all sorts of stuff hack silver and armor pieces and all sorts of stuff none of it's actually needed for 100% but it's all good stuff so just didn't need to wait a moment there for the X prompt to come up and then yeah just gonna throw stuff in and then whenever you... I'm not going to come back here, but we will be getting more of it. So you can see I've got 27 Asgard in, uh, ingots, luminous alloy, pur purified crystalline, hack silver, 82,000 hack silver. I have a bunch of these crystals. You're just going to see all sorts coming up now. Chest armor and, and... Yeah, there's a lot. So you can come back here as much as you want and get uh, all the attachments and things like that. They're all different ones. But for now, I'm, uh, I'm leaving. You know where the place is now. I'll show you a shortcut back out now uh, with this law the lost pages so yeah I did actually just skip forward then because all the items uh, that was coming into my inventory that I just got it was going on for about a minute two minutes maybe <laughs> so I just needed to wait for that to uh, stop but there you can um, just get the lost pages and then we'll go into the planes proper now so you kick this down and this is where you start this is the very first gateway that you get when you come to the crater so this is the crater entrance, this gateway here, and this is where we will start off. So everything can be got 
within the planes apart from one thing that you need to do again it's in the jungle you need to get one of the lore items in the jungle no sorry one of the um favor items in the jungle before you can complete it over here it's for one of the casualty of wars uh, the stein that one um we picked it up in the jungle video you may remember if you've already watched that and yes, we're going to go and do these three. So these aren't actually marked on the map. These are travellers. There's three in this area. If you're going for the platinum and you want all the other trophies as well, then you're going to need to uh, defeat these three. I'm going to put them up uh, in the top corner there. They give you hilts. So between the three of them, you're going to get two hilts, I think it is. Uh, I think there's one for the blades, one for the spear. Something like that. Anyway, you need to get all of them for a trophy, so... This is part of it. So we're going to be killing these as well. They're actually quite tough because you don't stagger them and they do block a lot, which is quite annoying. Um, they don't... Yeah, if he does this attack, then just hit it. He usually manages to get one skull out at least. But that's going to track you and hit you as well. Come on, let's finish this now. I'm just going to mention here as well that it does need to be night time to do everything, pretty much everything in the plane. So make sure you're in night time as well. See, so he's one of three. Travelers in this area. There's plenty of other travelers. You're going to get uh, lore as well as you do this. Uh, that one, that particular one, drops a wet stone, but I've uh, left it in. That's where we are, map-wise. And off we go into the plains proper now. So, first thing we're going to do is where this dock is. Or well, I suppose it's the second thing, isn't it? I'm just going to hit this because, yep, it's always good to collect everything. You know, we can fully upgrade every all the armor sets and things like that for trophies. Uh, here's Casualty War 1 of 3. I'm going to put that down as the brooch part 1. So, each Casualty of War has two parts. You kind of find an item, turn in an item. That kind of thing is what happens. So there's five casualty of war points in this area, one of which is in the jungle, so making up the six that you need for the three casualty of wars in this area. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, go and pick that up. And then we're going to get in the boat, and this is why you can't, you have to do the jungle first, because if you haven't done the jungle first, there will be no water here, and you cannot use a boat, and cannot get to these islands. And we're just going to dock here. Pull up for a moment and do this Idrisil Rift, which is a fight. This one is a fight. There are three rifts. The other two are actually Lindworms, which is good. It means we don't have to fight as much. These are tanky uh, ogre. Yeah, there they are. You can just kind of make them out. They're not called ogres, but they're the ones that spit the poison at you that you've met in the mines before. Because I'm playing on easy, I'm just going in with everything I've got. But uh, obviously you may have to be a bit more careful. This is a level 7 one. I think the other one's a level 8. So they are pretty high level. If you are struggling, again, this is why I'm doing it after the story. Nice and strong and don't have to worry about getting messed up by a level 8. Whatever the hell that thing is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you may need to come back. Um, if you're struggling with this, chances are everything else is going to kick your ass as well. So yeah, you may need to come back. Making it rain. I think we get two R3s on this one. This one uh, does not go down easily. Yeah, there we go. Finally. A Bergsr. Okay, I didn't know how I was supposed to know that. Well, I've obviously fought it before. That's how I'm supposed to know. But uh, stick your arm in the hole <laughs> and uh, get some good stuff. And that will be the Idrisil number one of three. Done. Idrisil Rift. Next is a treasure map, which is for this area. So we're picking this up now, obviously doing this first because treasure will not appear if you don't have the map. So over here, this is the second law treasure map. A scar is born. Again, map for anybody who's just jumping around. And then we're going to go and do our first of two dragons. This is a, a Drekki, so it's more of a crocodile than a dragon. I'm sure they are actually dragons, but it looks like a crocodile to me. 
and that is down river now i don't this game is really good for not having to backtrack and it's been you know pretty tight in how you go to one area and it leads to the next and you don't really have to backtrack so much but this is i don't know we have to go down we actually have to go left and use that zip line for something else later but this is the only way to also get to the in the dead of night is another good opportunity to tell you that you do need to do all pretty much everything in the planes at night time as well you can see that this is called in the dead of night this will not be available in the daytime so uh yeah I did mention earlier hopefully you've still got it in night <laughs> so yeah this is a, a drekki it's pretty easy fight uh just hit the floor a lot like that and uh, just keep hitting it so yeah we need to do this drekki fight and then we're gonna have to circle back around unfortunately to go and get a law a piece of law by using that zip line which is a bit annoying, but um, yeah, I guess we're going to have to do that. Couldn't find a way around it. But uh, usually there's a way, you know, there's a jump up point or something like that. There's Where we drop down, you can't jump back up, which is really odd. It's it's very odd that you, you that that's something you have to uh, you do. Anyway, tag team it, <laughs> finish it off. And that will be Dragon Hunt 1 of 2 done in the dead of night. The Drekki is down. Some more dragon teeth. And that's where we are on the map. So there's a couple of things here. And there's a chest here. I'm just going to grab the chest first. The reason I'm doing this <laughs> is so that the title for Odin's Raven would be in the top corner for longer. If I just went and got it straight away, it would mean I wouldn't be able to be on the screen for about a second. <laughs> that's the reason I did that, if you're wondering. So yeah, run over, get Odin's Raven. There's going to be five of those guys in here as well. And then over here, this is Casualty of War, two of three, the Stein. This is the one that starts in the jungle. So again, if you, you will have had to have done the jungle before doing this. So this is the one that starts in the jungle, pretty much next to where you were. You do the water. I'm pretty sure it's the one by the water, actually. Next we're going to be doing an epic hunt. There's two epic hunts in this place. They're a bit different. We've not done anything like that before. Uh, it's, you know, it's only for this area, epic hunts. And it's for creatures. Not anything new, unfortunately. It's recycled. But uh, it's something a bit <laughs> rebranded, let's say. So yeah, look out for the crystals. Now in this area... I was going to jump up here and we're going to start off the epic hunt, but then the actual the thing will spawn here to the right of me, directly where I was there, and there's a lot of enemies around, so we're going to take care of those first before doing the epic hunt, because you don't want them interrupting the fight, because you're going to be fighting in this bit of water behind us. So take care of them first. There's going to be one of these horrible wispy, cursed wisp things. So get rid of that first, and then there's going to be a big troll as well, or ogre. I always get the two mixed up. Just slam him around. The thing I like to do with these as well is when they're stunned like that, you can see their bar is red. The stun bar is red. Just keep doing damage until it nearly until it's nearly run out and they, they regain consciousness, and then start hitting them. Just it's a quicker way of killing them, to be honest. Uh, okay, I think is that was clear. I think that's us clear. Yes. Yeah, so that's all. Uh, that area is clear now. We're going to do the hunt. The dragon will be around as well. It's not going to. It keeps flying off and coming back and. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be much of a problem. So there is actually one up there, but we'll get this one first. So there's going to be an animal here. You can see it's got the blue um, favour marker on it. So just go and interact with it. So we need to actually we need to do this for the, the hunt to begin. And then there's another one up here, so we'll do exactly the same. It's going to start the in plane sight favour once you do that. And then we need to find this second one. And then, yeah, we're looking for evidence of a soul eater. And once you've done two, 
I think there's a third actually. Um, then you will be able to slay. It will spawn in exactly where I said here. It will. It's been here twice for me. If it's somewhere else for you, then obviously just look around for some really obvious looking rocks, and a soul eater will appear. Like I said, it's not. It's just recycled things you've done before. A soul eater, and then the other one is one of the uh, the things with the things. It'll make sense. I can't remember the name of them. <laughs> They're quite rare. With the ball and the flashing lights. Uh, again, the same thing with the Soul Eater. Its bar is going down. I'm just going to keep hitting it until the last moment and then do R3. And then, unfortunately, I didn't do enough damage. It's right there. No. <laughs> See, if you haven't fought one of these... Yeah, you've fought one of these before. Hit the chest. Until it dies. And there we go. That is Epic Hunt 1 of 2 done in plain sight. Pick up all the goodies. I'm just waiting for the, the actual uh, favour to finish here. So it will finish. We can now craft the hunter's armour. There we go. So that is now done. That's now ticked off on the, the map. There's so much more to do as well. <laughs> going to go and get this raven that's dead ahead here because we're going to take a boat back out into the river and circle back round to where we fought that Drekki. Don't worry about that little guy. You can't kill him yet. So, yep, get that Odin's raven. That's where we are by the lightning. And I'm going to hop back in the boat, circle back round. Yeah, it's not something I like to have to do this. We've just been there. The design in these worlds has been really good up until this point. It's not a major thing, it's just something that stood out because it's so good everywhere else. Uh, you can run through a place, especially when you make these videos you realise that you know you, you path a way out and it's actually pretty linear for the most part. You can do a circuit. But no, having to come back all the way around here is a bit odd. I'll get the sparkly stuff. Okay, we're landing again. And then we're going to climb up here. You have to anchor on this side first. And then up we go. And then zipline. So what we're actually here for is the law, which is over here. The coffin's just a bonus. So there's going to be a few enemies here, and they have... I don't like these. <laughs> they make the enemies invincible. It's the same thing those little necky, whatever the hell creatures are called. Uh, so you're going to have to freeze them. They don't do damage to you, so you don't need to worry about standing in it. It's just that it makes them pretty much invincible. You can overpower it if you're a certain level. You like ah, I pushed him right into it here. So I'm going to have to freeze it, and then I'll be able to damage them properly. And damage them, I will. And then just take care of those quickly. The Vikings, the Vikings. Once they're all done, look for the law marker, which is here. Stupidity. So we're back. Above where we just fought the Soul Eater, that's where we are. Open up all the extra stuff, don't miss any of this. Not that it's part of the 100%. And then kick this down. And we'll uh, carry on. So the dragon might fly in and you know attack you now and again. I think yeah, he's about to do it now. It's a little bit annoying. Nearly got away with it. <laughs> so we're heading north on the map. Ah, those things still get you as much as you can play a game like this. <laughs> you think you know where everything is? The plants can still get you. Jump over. And then we're going to go down here. Do this gate first because this is a 
cul-de-sac, if you will. You have to hit the stone bit. No, the stone. Yep, yeah, there you go. The stone bit. <laughs> and then throw your axe into it. And that's going to actually stop the poison cloud. So use a purple arrow and then freeze it. And now these ones aren't dangerous. The one over there is, but these two aren't. These are the ones that make the others invincible again. So just freeze the one that's closest to the enemies you're doing. I think I just pulled my axe out again here yeah, by accident. <laughs> Get rain on him. And that should be it. Okay. Right, a couple of things to grab here. We've got this law, which is dead ahead, you just saw that. This is apology. That's where we are now, in the northwest corner. And then we're going to be doing a non air chest. There's just three breakable ones. Old school non air chest, one of the easy ones to do. So there's one up there, there's one in the tree over here. And then we just need to freeze this thing. And look around the corner to find the final one. Obviously don't pull your axe out and hit it with that. And there you go. Apple or horn, depending where you're up to. For me, it's an apple. Do you think I've just got two more to get? Yeah. After the second one in here, I've just got two more to find, finally. Again, this is where we are, in case somebody's jumping around timestamp wise. So, yeah, you'll need to freeze this again to get back out. And then uh, we'll continue round. Over here, Odin's Raven. Nice, obvious one. And then we're going to make a run for it here. So jump across because there's some of those nasty plants that you need to kill from uh, the bulb. So just keep running past them. Ignore all the chest and that for now. Grab the crystals. Now there's quite a few of those plants around here. You can see they're all down there. And there's going to be some of those little annoying... Yeah, you can see them coming up here. That one didn't die. I thought that one died when I was playing. And this is what I'm after here. Yeah, there it is. Right. Blow that up. You can now get to that. And here is Casualty War 3 of 3. This is part 1 of the third one. We still have uh, 1 ongoing and 3 ongoing. 2 is done. So this is the scroll. Again, this is where we are. And then I was going to just carry on and head on, that's where we need to go, but there is actually a coffin, so we'll just quickly get that. Just to remind you as well, more than me, I suppose. And up, and then we're going to be in a safe camp. And this is where you can change the time of day, but do not leave it at night. You need to keep it at night time. So, yeah, you have your normal stuff. You've got a mystic gateway here. You've got your, your day-night changing the celestial altar. And a dwarf. And then we're going to look over here, and we're going to throw one in here. Do not detonate yet. Just throw one in there. On down, go around. You probably noticed this on the way past when we're doing the dragon. And then two and three. And then detonate. You have to do all three at the same time. And then this is the scroll. So we've literally just picked the scroll one up. And this is how you finish the scroll. So again, skipping ahead here. So just the one left, casualty of war, to do. 
say who fought Thor in this valley. Okay. That's where we are now, and then we're just going to get a legendary chest, which is right next to us. So I'm not going to bring the map up again because it is right there. Just the own, just the one legendary chest, just only lonely one. Okay, we're finally going to go through this big old gate here that you've been probably been wondering what's through here. And yes, it does need to be night to get through here as well. And it's traveler number two and a dragon. But first, we'll be doing a, uh, the traveler. Nope, nearly got me there. So go around here and then hook around to the left and then there's going to be two guys will spawn in, two smaller guys, quickly kill them because the traveller takes a minute to get to you. Uh, right, we're clear to just deal with him now. Uh, so the traveller is, again, he's one of the ones that's not part of the map 100%, but he is if you want the platinum. You're going to need to kill him because he's going to. I think this one is the one that drops one of the hilts. So again, they do not stagger, so you're just going to have to keep going at them. If you are struggling, maybe come back or get good at dodging. Not that I am, just not dodging. I'm just going all in, even through something like that. I just keep going. I don't know why he wasn't taking it. Do you see the delay there? I don't know if you noticed that. It happened quite a few times with these uh, these particular travellers. You, you'd hit them up, slap them around a bit, and the, the, sometimes the health would actually come back. A bit strange. Anyway, that's two of three down. Valley, the Oath Guard. They're all called Oath Guard something. You're going to get a bit of lore from them as well. It all builds towards a story end as well. And there you go, the hilt, which is a relic, which is all needed for crafting. And of course, trophies, that's what we need it for. Always satisfying to do that as well. <laughs> Pop them all, all the spear ends. And then on to Dragon Hunt 2 of 2 for Vanaheim. This is a fire-based dragon, so I will stick with the axe. You're probably up, well, okay. You're probably okay with the blades, but I always like to go opposite. It will be one of those ones that flies around, uh, so get as much damage as you can in quickly before it takes off. And it, uh, yeah, keep hitting it with arrows as well, the green arrows. And when it does fly off, switch to the spear and aim at it. There, if you you got to try and take it down before it gets to you. If not, it'll just keep doing those carpet runs, those carpet bomb runs, uh, of fire. So once you do get it down, just keep trying to hit it. Luckily, it does that, which is good. It's actually it does not much damage. It gives you a huge opening to give uh, give it a good slap afterwards. And there we go. So yeah, if it does take off again, just throw some more spears at it. Now this one's a little different than the others, it's not going to finish straight away. Uh, the guy we've been uh, trying to save, the Traveller, I can't remember his name, he's uh, he's upstairs, so we're going to go and save him. There are a couple of things we need to grab down here, we'll get those afterwards, but we're going to finish this off first. Uh, uh, big Ear, Big, Big Ear, <laughs> yeah, Big Ear, what was his name? Oh, it came up on the screen, <laughs> I missed it. And you'll get a frozen flame there, so you can uh, upgrade the Leviathan Axe as well. So yeah, just go and speak to him now. I'm going to skip ahead because spoilers and things for a certain something if you've not finished the game yet. Hopefully you have. Big, 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 him. So to finish it, you actually need to free him properly like send him home he doesn't have a stone so you need to go to the mystic gateway just interact with it you're not going to walk through it or anything he is 
and then the Dragon Hunt for Vanaheim will properly finish and you'll be able to tick it off. And there we go, no more dragons. All gone now. now that he's safe, we may leave. Seasonal stag here, this is the final one if you've been doing these videos in order of the upload. If not, you've got more to find. There we go, off we go. Winter is on its way home. So I have all of them now. I have all the stags. So to actually finish it off the quest, uh, you need to go to back to Ratatoska. I was going to go and do it here, but it's not actually part of the 100% on the map. So I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to cancel this and we're going to carry on. But if you want, you want to go and finish it. Uh, I'm also going to be finishing the Lindworm quest in this one because I, I will have all six at this point so I'm going to go back at the end as well but yeah to turn it in you don't it's not part of a trophy or anything I don't think that one you don't get anything particularly good but you need to tick them all off so just go back and speak to them afterwards um, we'll drop back down into the dragon area now and there is an Odin's Raven and then speaking of Lindworms here is another Idrazil Rift and this is one of two with a Lindworm in it. So if you don't have the Ghostbuster Trap, if you haven't started that side quest from Ratatoska, um, you need to go and speak to him before you're able to capture these things, and he'll give you this, uh, this trap here. And then once you have all six from around the way, from all around the realms, then uh, you can go and turn that in. And that is actually part of a trophy. Once you turn them all in, then uh, trophy time. Okay, we are done here. We're going to get back in the boat and uh, leave this particular part. By going this way. So you may remember that little lizard that was on the floor. I said, don't bother with it. You can't get him now. This is how you get him. So just pull this door down and then just stand there. Don't go forward. And there he's going to appear again, and then you can just hit him in with the back. Hit him in the back with the spear, or axe, or whatever. There's just good stuff everywhere in this, <laughs> in this place. <laughs> okay, in the boat, and off to the left. And just before we do, do the Draugr hole for this area, and you can see it just in the distance there, there is a Dew Drop, Idrisil Dew Drop. So it's worth getting this. I think this is actually a strength one. So it's definitely worth getting. It's going to make you a little bit stronger. It's not much, but I mean, they all add up. Two, isn't it? And then we're going to go off. So there's the mainland off to the right hand side there. But we're just going to go over here quickly. And again, there's loads of stuff just lying around. We've got the crystal, we've got the coffin up there, but what we're actually here for is the Draugr hole. This is quite a high level Draugr as well. If you, again, if you are not finished the story, a bit of a lower level, you might kick your ass. So, as usual, I use um, the axe with these because they look like fire. Ah oh man, that was bad timing. <laughs> he is still yellow for me, so he is a bit... He's still not easy. His health bar is yellow. And his two friends, which are easy. I could probably get rid of those first, but I just... I don't take that much damage at this point, so... I'll just go for him. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter about the odd slap now and again. I do forget, I'm just looking at the screen here, I do forget that 
the uh, the partners always have an extra attack as well when you hold square. I always forget about that one going through the, all the uh, the runic attacks. Okay, there we go. That's him down. Finally. See, I've got a bit of fire on my spear. That's the, one of the relics I'm using. And then clear the hole out, and that's it. Draw the hole one of one done for this area. Gonna be ticking things off quickly now as we get into the end now. Chaos Spark, just one more of those for me. So I'm gonna go back to the mainland. And we are gonna complete this circuit we've been doing this whole video. You can see there's a law marker, that's obviously our next target at this point. No, I need to use the purple arrow because there's two and they're quite close together here. So there's a couple of the, the Vikan, the Vikans type enemy, I think it, that's what they call these ones. He's fallen off, I think he dies. When does he die? And then there's one of those just nasty things. No, nope, don't pull the axe back out. God, <laughs> the aiming is a... I should not have the uh, the lock on. on. Okay, right. So, law first. And that is here. Nope, can't. Yep, there we go. Got to wait for him to stop speaking. And this is um, the final bit of law for the planes. C D, I I think that is saying. Yeah, we start ticking things off properly now, completing things now. Odin's Ravens are going to be finished. Here's the final one just down here. So that's ticked off now. Yeah, so there's a dwarf off to the right there. But we're going to go over here and drop down into the main plane. For that, we're just going to head down here, grab final Idrisil Rift uh, and the final Lindworm for me. If this is the final Lindworm for you as well, then you will want to go and speak to Ratatoska after doing this. And get that trophy. I believe that's the last of them. And that's the last of them. Spectacular work. I, I didn't bring the map up there. That's quite annoying that I didn't do that. Uh, I do apologise for that. But yeah, you, once you've got all of the uh, lindworms, you'll get a uh, drop near spear upgrade as well. Burn this. That's one of the non air chest runes we're about to do. So burn the, those vines away. And then kick this off and we'll drop down. Obviously all those purple things are something we have to deal with in a minute. But before then we're going to do this, uh, this Nornir chest. So there's one, two. You can see there's a, an obvious one, two. These are the ones that actually last the longest, surprisingly. And then this third one round here that we just burned or freed doesn't last long at all. So do the other two first and then run round to that one. And then open up the chest, and this will be a horn for me this time. Yep, just one more of each to get. On a chest, two of two, just a buried treasure, epic hunt, which we're about to do, a casualty of war, and a final traveller. So this is epic hunt number two, nocturnal predator. It's one of those things that is just an orb and then lots of bits coming off it. <laughs> I don't know how other to describe it. Uh, so yeah, you'll need to burn the the little wisps out and they'll go, you see these purple things it's just flown into. So this will start off the favor now. So we're just gonna prepare for the fight at this point. So burn this away because we'll need to get to that when we're in the middle of the fight. Run over here to this animal. Unfortunately, this one's going to die. 
Not much we can do about that. I didn't want to have to show it, but it, it kind of makes you go really slowly. It's never nice seeing animals die. They would kill things all day long. <laughs> if an animal dies, that's that's not cool. There, so that's all of them free. There's three animals to free, but there's actually six of those sigils to get. Uh, sorry, five of those sigils to get. So once they're all done, once all the animals are free, walk over to this middle plate. And then, yeah, one of those, Phantom. I guess they didn't know what to call it either. It's a flame phantom. So if you haven't fought one of these before, aim for the big glowy round bit. And then once their stamina bar, their stagger bar is full, then you go for the runes. I like to use the spear uh, and do it from a distance. I'm just going to get close to them first. There, it's going. Done. So once it's green, once its health is green, one, two, three, four, five, and then detonate is enough to take care of these. You've got the one over there, you got the one over by the uh, Droga hole. One, two, three, four, five, detonate. If you're quick, you'll get two before it comes back. This is why I was lining up and getting close to them. You can go in and do damage and fight it. It's just best to do these from a distance, honestly, with the spear. And uh, make sure you keep spamming the bow as well, because that does help. Going, going in and fight. See, this is what happens if you go in and fight. There, okay. So you've got two here right next to each other, which is good. Watch out for that plant. One, two, three, four, five. And detonate. I think the first one, yeah, the first one misses, so we're going to have to go for six on this one. And then detonate. Not enough time to get that last one. It's really far away. So I'm just going to run next to it. And then wait for the... Yeah, here you are. I'm surprised I managed to parry that then. I was not... You know what? Honestly, I wasn't trying. <laughs> That's how I parry. I don't try. I'm more of a dodge roller. If I even bother moving at all. Or just sit there and take the damage. Stand there. Okay, final one. One, two, three, four, five. And then detonate. And then it will appear again. You just need, it, need to give it a quick slap. And then you can R3 kill it. And then this will... If this is your second epic hunt, if you did do the other one first, the Soul Eater first, like I did in the video, then you will get the trophy invasive species for this as well. I've already got it at this point, but it will pop there. Once you've killed both, once you've basically once you've finished both epic hunts, that could yeah you could say those two words epic hunts yeah you got to say those separate haven't you? <laughs> Don't say those two words quickly together. Um, maybe they've did that on purpose. And there you go. So just a couple more things, last things to grab now. Now coming down here, there's there's a couple of enemies in the way, and we're also going to get interrupted by that huntress again. If you if you remember her, if you've already in, encountered her in uh, either the plane, uh, sorry the the jungle. There she goes, the untamed fury, the jungle or the uh, the sinkholes. So you don't kill her, you just hit her until she disappears, which is I think it's two notches on the health bar. You can't see it on mine, unfortunately, but yeah, just keep going at her until uh, she disappears. You'll see when she's about to disappear because she won't take damage anymore. There, you can see it's coming down now. There, it stopped. There, you just saw the little bit of non-movement in the health. And then, yeah, <laughs> this is nothing to do with her. And of course, one of these things appears. So we'll have to do this briefly. Trying to just trying to get to the end thing. Yes, I could have cut this out, but it's. Uh, I want to keep the untamed fury part in for anybody who wants that. And then, if you haven't fought one of these before as well, I guess it kind of helps. So yeah, you need to, to kill them, and then it's actually three different wisps that make up one. So you'll need to kill those as well. Okay. Just 
just going to grab this. So this is a, this is where we started off. The wall directly ahead of us to the right now is where we started. Uh, sorry, this area, the main plains area, off once we dropped out of the wishing well. So to get out of here, that's where your uh, gateway is. I'm not going to show it at the end. It's pretty obvious in this one. And I'm going to run down here into this tunnel, this bridge, and. Um, this is where the treasure is, the buried treasure. We did pick up a Scar is Born. It was a lore item from early on. It was on the same island as the first rift. So this is uh, where this treasure is. If the treasure is not here, you have not picked the map up. You need to go and get it. Obviously look in the description for the timestamps for that. So that's where we are. Just one final thing for the 100%, but we are also going to get the Traveller as well. So we're going to go up and round, and this one's going to give us a relic, which is part of a trophy as well. This one has a shield, and he will use it, but you can just kind of just like the others. He's green health bar, so I know I'm safe just to try and hit him as much as possible. But they do not stagger, which is fair enough, I suppose. They're supposed to be elite warriors. He does have a lot of armor on. Hey, we've got a little bit of a stagger there. That's unbelievable. Making it rain. The health. You see the health there. You may. It just didn't go down a little bit. A bit of a delay on it. A bit strange. Anyway. Finish him off, and that is uh, all three travelers. And I'll actually mention about the travelers. You can go and speak to Beer Gear, the traveler guy that we saved in the middle with the dragon, uh, back in Freya's camp. If you want to know something about it, so yeah, it's a spear handle. This one, and I'm going to open up this again. I'm uh, just padding a little bit so that the, the top corner doesn't disappear straight away but yeah here's the final thing casualty of war one of three the brooch this is the one we started off at the dock right at the beginning of the video well pretty much one of the very first things we got in the planes and that's it that's 100 percent for me of vanheim as well as the plane so that is everything done right thanks very much for watching and i'll see you on the next one